What's up, everybody? Puck Mike here, back with another video. Epic fail video number two here. Not sure if you watched last week's video. Had some issues with my microphone. Wife and I just had baby Puck Mike number two. So I'm moving from room to room here. Used a different microphone. Sounds absolutely terrible, so can't post a video, but I do want to go through some of the pulls that I got from the box. The hobby box and a blaster of series two. Got some decent pulls, so I wanted to go through those. Should be back on track next week with a regular video. Got three tins of series two coming, so I'll be doing a video of those for next week. So let's go through some of these here. Just a couple base cards I saved that I thought I would be able to move on eBay. The more it's cider. Some of the big names on the base cards, you have no problem moving on eBay for the most part. Had a Tage Thompson as well. And of course, the Trevor Zegris. And then getting into the inserts here, had a Patrick Line, a UD Canvas. That's kind of cool. UD Canvas cards have grown on me since I first opened them. I did say I didn't like those cards. They've definitely grown on me. Depends on the colors, depends on the player, depends on the photo. This one's okay. But overall, they've definitely grown on me. Got a checklist here, McKinnon and Drysidle. And our first Young Guns was a uh, Nick Perbix. We didn't hit a ton of big names on the Young Guns, but we did hit one big name, so stick around. I'll show you that one here in this pile. Got a UD Portraits of Brent Clark. In the Lunchbox Legends, got a couple of these. This one was a Brady Kachuk. This one was cool. Calder of Caden Gould. Not sure if I'm saying that last name right. Had a Chase Pearson on the honor roll. Another Legends of Patrick Lyonet again. Another Young Guns here. Again, not a super big name. The Instant Impression inserts. I thought these were actually really cool. Not a huge Gensel fan, to be honest. Great player. Definitely wouldn't be the same player without Crosby in my opinion. This stuff doesn't sell for a ton, probably for that reason, but really like these inserts actually. Got Ethan Prow on the Young Guns there. Then these World Junior Grads cards. Almost looks just like a base card. It's got the border there at the bottom and the different one at the top. Camel car, good name to have. Not mint, unfortunately. Got some wear on the top edge there, but good name to have on that card. Had a UD Canvas, Yegor Sharangovich. Brandon Baddock on the Young Guns. So I think that was our third Young Guns. Then these kind of postcard looking cards they had this time around. We got San Jose. Really cool idea on these. I honestly did didn't even know these were in here. I think I missed these on the checklist. I actually like these designs. They're pretty cool. Had one of our blue Dazzlers. I think this was one I got from the Blaster, if I remember correctly. I can't remember, though. Actually, no, it might have been the green Dazzler we got coming up. Soder Blom on the portraits. And that was the big pull of the box. Shane Wright on the Young Guns. Was hoping for Wright, Slavkowski, some of the big names. Also not mint, unfortunately. Got some wear on the top edge. Probably hold on to it for a little bit. I haven't looked in a while. I think his stuff might have dipped since he didn't make the transition directly to the NHL. I don't think he's a bust. I think he just got over shattered by some better players. Glad I had that pool regardless. Then we had Cole Reinhardt on the Senators as well on a Young Guns. Cam Atkinson, more UD Canvas. Then one of these postcard looking things, Minnesota. Nick Blankenberg. Another Young Guns here on the Flyers. Ole Lexel. Adam Roska, UD Portraits on the Sharks. Kachetkov on the Green Dazzlers. This was the one I think I got out of the Blaster now, if I remember correctly. One of them is exclusive to the Blasters. I think it's the green one. Then we had a Dylan Holloway for Calder there. A couple really good ones on the back here. I might like this one better than the Shane Wright Young guns to be honest conditions way better quality's way better these highlighter inserts i really like these debuting this year in this set is able to get a jack hughes which is awesome really like that card and then a ud canvas sage thompson great name to have on the ud canvas there's the back right there so yeah i wanted to go through some of the cards i got in this break sorry about the mishap guys these last couple weeks really appreciate you guys sticking around with me appreciate the comments the likes if you haven't already do me a favor subscribe like i said next week got three tins of series two I'm gonna be opening those hopefully some of the stuff that's been delayed will be released least. I think 21, 22 ice is supposed to come out. Obviously just a placeholder date. So you never know. Might be doing the boom box again for May as well. Stick around. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Really appreciate the support and yeah, I'll check you later.